Hi all, I'm Anton, and I want to share my top one solution to the deep traffic contest, which allows me to reach 75 miles per hour. Excuse me for my terrific accent, and let's start. There is a couple of tweaks that we need. So let's go from top to bottom. First, I use a big field of view. Lane aside equals to 3, patches ahead equals to 50, patches behind equals to 10. And here comes first important thing as for my opinion. I set temporal window 0. Why? So, we use Deep Networks algorithm. It is a reinforcement learning algorithm. It receives state vector and provides us an action that we need to apply. Regarding state vector, we need to keep it minimalistic and as much Markov as possible. So, what is Markov state? Basically, it is state that contains all information we need to predict later behavior of our environment. If we use just one patch above the car, we will not be able to predict anything. Then we use wider field of view. Patches of the field of view contains information about velocity of object above the patch. So we receive information not only about position, but about velocities of other cars as well, just in one time step. What about other time steps? I think it might be useful to determine other cars' drive styles or other sophisticated things about cars' behavior, but I believe that other cars have the same at random behavior, so it's useless to try to predict random, right? In other hand, positions and velocities are a lot of useful information. Also using other time steps will not slow computation for us. I use 500 of 1000 train iterations. It's big, but not huge. As for neural network architecture, we have big freedom here, I think. So even three layers of eight neurons show 70 miles per hour. And I don't think that we need much bigger amount of neurons here. I have a number of different architectures and state at four layers with 36, 24, 24 and 24 neurons. Second important thing I want to mention that we need hyperbolic tangent activation on last hidden layer. ReLU is quite good and led us to have deeper networks, but for me, pure ReLU on all layers tend to diverge in reinforcement learning. Here I use tangent on all layers, but ReLU is also possible if you have tangent on the last hidden layer. I use it 128 batch size and default learning rate. As for experience reply size, we need much bigger one than default, for example 100,000. In deep learning it's better to have big datasets. Start learning threshold. 5000 to be able to accumulate different behavior before learning. Gamma is very important parameter for DQN. It defines how sensitive our car for future situations. Gamma is between 0 and 1. And if it is 0, it will not consider its future. If it is 1, it will consider situations that may happen in the deepest future. You likely want to use 1, but with 1, the algorithm tend to diverge. So, typical value is 0 0.9. I've used 0 0.98. With these parameters I get 75.04. But there is random in submission. So, the same submission may vary about 0 0.5 miles per hour. So, try multiple times. It dries pretty well, but I spotted one bad situation. When car is blocked by surrounding cars. It's sometimes good to use brake to leave such conditions change line and pass. But instead car waits. To handle this I decided to train second model and use first for pre-training. I added downloaded file and increase batch size and decrease learning range. It allows me to get 75.28. I had even bigger values on evaluation run. My solution github link will be in the description. So there is a very simple explanation of using DQN and reinforcement learning. If you're interested, I advise to watch Google DeepMind David Silver Marvelous course on YouTube. It is very clear and interesting. Link will be in description. Please put any questions in comments, like, subscribe, maybe share with your friends. Good luck and have fun in your education and research. Bye!